Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into an intriguing topic that's often overlooked, the fascinating world of condom manufacturing. Ever wondered how those crucial tools for safe intimacy are made? Well, you're in for a treat. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting content. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of how condoms are made. The history of condoms is a fascinating journey that spans centuries, reflecting changes in societal attitudes, materials, and manufacturing processes. The earliest known form of protection during intercourse dates back to ancient civilizations. Ancient Egyptians are believed to have used linen sheaths, and there's evidence of similar practices in ancient China and Rome. These early devices were more about preventing pregnancy than protecting against sexually transmitted infections. The 21st century has seen continuous innovation in condom design, materials, and manufacturing processes. Ultra-thin condoms, non-latex alternatives, and advancements in lubrication technologies contribute to improved user experience. First things first, let's talk about the raw materials. Condoms are typically made from latex, polyurethane, or polyisoprene. We'll explore the unique properties of each material and how they contribute to the overall effectiveness of the end product. The most common material used in condom production is latex. We'll take you through the latex processing stage, from tapping rubber trees to creating the thin, flexible material that gives condoms their characteristic stretchiness. Ensuring the highest quality is paramount in condom manufacturing. We'll explore how manufacturers formulate the perfect blend of materials and rigorously test their products for strength, durability, and reliability. Spoiler alert, these tests are way more intense than you might think. Ever wondered how condoms get their shape? It's all in the dipping process. We'll take you behind the scenes to witness how condoms are formed through a precise dipping technique. Trust us, it's a mesmerizing sight. Now it's time for manufacturing process. The manufacturing process commences with molds, typically crafted from either metal or glass setting the foundation for the condom's shape. Before these molds can demonstrate their capabilities, there is preparatory work with the latex. This initial phase takes place in deep vats, where the latex is warmly greeted, quite literally. It undergoes heating and treatment with a blend of chemicals in a step known as pre-vulcanization. This stage is pivotal as it converts the latex into a material as robust and durable as a Honda Civic, concurrently minimizing the risk of allergic reactions. Speaking of allergies, they typically lead to swelling, right? That sparks an idea. Meanwhile, the molds embark on a single-file journey along a computer-operated conveyor belt, making their way for an immersion in the latex solution. The dipping process is deliberate and involves slow rotations, ensuring an even latex coating for a flawless finish. After the initial dip, the molds take a brief hiatus to allow the first latex layer to dry before returning for a second dip in the vat. This second layer imparts additional strength and thickness to the condom, concluding the molding process. At this stage, the condoms remain on the molds and are not fully prepared. While they maintain their shape, they lack the requisite strength and elasticity for adequate hanky-panky. The subsequent stage, vulcanization, addresses this deficiency. In this phase, the condoms undergo heating in an elongated furnace, substantially amplifying their strength and elasticity by up to a 2 dinner pound percent increase. This heating process also lends the latex a smooth, almost silky texture, a feature crucial for, well, you can probably deduce its importance. Following vulcanization, the condoms are treated with a rolling brush that forms the distinctive rim at the top edge. This rim is pivotal as it ensures the condom is sturdy and easy to handle during application. Hygiene is paramount in the production of condoms. After vulcanization, the condoms, still attached to their molds, undergo a forceful water jet. This serves a dual purpose. It cleans off any residual latex and chemicals while aiding in the removal of the condom from the mold. Similar to my dirty laundry, the condoms are then assembled in a pile, awaiting the subsequent step. They are placed in a literal washing machine, which not only eliminates any remaining chemicals, but also sterilizes their surfaces, guaranteeing the absence of germs in the final product. Following washing, the condoms are dried and positioned on holders to mature for two days, 
before undergoing a series of tests. Assessing the durability of condoms is imperative due to their crucial role in preventing unwanted pregnancies and diseases. Each condom undergoes an assortment of safety tests, resembling procedures more fitting for an Area 51 laboratory than something found in a nightstand drawer. Firstly, there's the pinhole test, a sophisticated challenge to identify leaks. Condoms are filled with water and immersed in a vat. If any water leakage completes an electric circuit, bingo, you've got a defective condom. This method is remarkably precise. Then there's the volume test, essentially a contest of inflating balloons, but with a twist. According to the revered ISO 40, a condom should be capable of containing 18 liters of air, though most can handle over 30 liters without any issue. Next is the stretch resistance test, a literal tug of war involving a single condom stretched to its limits. The objective is to determine how much it can endure before surrendering. Finally, the concluding step in the manufacturing process entails each condom undergoing meticulous inspection under a microscope by a healthcare professional, ensuring they are free of germs. If even one condom in the batch proves faulty, the entire lot is discarded. However, if they pass these tests with flying colors, it's onward to the packaging phase. After all, who wouldn't appreciate a thoroughly tested, reliable, and frankly, overachieving piece of latex? Now the final step, packaging. After receiving the final touches with lube and perhaps a hint of scent, each condom is gently placed into a foil wrapper, ensuring it stays clean and ready for action. Subsequently, these compact items are meticulously arranged into boxes that furnish you with all the essential information, instructions on usage, expiration date, and do's and don'ts. In essence, it serves as a survival guide for safe and enjoyable intimacy. In the blink of an eye, they're set to embark on their mission to enhance experiences in bedrooms everywhere. This process underscores the considerable effort we invest in averting parenting mishaps. Condoms commence as basic latex, undergo shaping, testing, and eventually find themselves encased in those glossy packets. The journey from raw material to your reliable choice is quite extraordinary. If this glimpse behind the scenes has piqued your curiosity, why not delve into the creation of other everyday wonders? You might uncover surprising insights. Until the next exploration, continue pondering the intricacies of how things come to be.